Hello everyone, Simulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Yes, I know your stock of modified metagel is low, but... No, you don't understand. This isn't for... Listen, I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. I found this metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Yeah, so you, ha you have to listen out for conversations like that. Sometimes you'll just randomly pick them up as you go about your day. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Right. Welcome to Serta. Nothing here. Oh, look who it is! Stain! Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic and intensive care. I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Oh dear. Back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times, the oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Oh, poor thing. Oh, oh. okay. to Grissom Academy. 
I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is it? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You are welcome. Anything in round here? Can't remember. Let's have a... Nope. Well, there's one in here. I'm not sure if I've got this one yet. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. Right, we haven't got his yet. But we've now got the mission. All right, let's go see Caden. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Adina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, had each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Alright. Well, we can explore some more floors now, so let's go and peruse more of the Citadel. Ah, uh, let's see. Factory where uh, Arya Talok is. Let's go down to the holding area first. Now arriving at docking bay E twenty four, emergency civilian housing. You can't turn me away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait. Please, my family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. Sure you can't squeeze in a few more people, officer? And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Uh, if that's what you think, I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock? Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Excuse 
Excuse me. What was your name again? I recovered your pillars of strength from the kite's nest. They're yours, waiting in bay D-24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of the faith they can get. Damn. Right, nothing in here for now. Ah, oh, Kelly. Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Shepherd, it's really you. I could just hug you. It's good to see you too, Kelly. <sighs> I've been so worried. Without my Cerberus contacts. I had no way of knowing if you'd survived the invasion. You're not with Cerberus anymore? Working with you opened my eyes, got me thinking. I looked closely at what Cerberus had done. In good conscience, I couldn't stay with them. You inspired me to leave. Come back to the Normandy. Please believe me. <laughs> I want nothing more than to be with you again, but I can't. Ever since the Collectors abducted us. I relive it every night. I see Joker running out. Then that cold hand pulls me back. They're above me. Around me. They stuff me into that coffin and... I'm relieved that they aren't touching me anymore. But then it's so small. You can't breathe. It seems like forever. I watched people melt. God. Hey, it's okay. I'm fine. I just can't step back onto the Normandy. I'm sorry. Don't be. And even if I could, I shouldn't. I'm making a difference here. If there was ever a reason I studied psychology, it was to help people at a time like this. Didn't think Cerberus liked people going AWOL. They don't. But Cerberus has more important things to worry about than me. Don't take chances with Cerberus. Change your look. Change your name. Get new identification. That takes time. And the people here need my help. Do it, Kelly. Okay, I will. If you think I should. I'm so glad you found me. Seeing you makes everything right again. Oh, and your fish. Nobody was going to take care of them with you in custody, so I saved them. I'll send them back to you. Oh, I need to run. Please be careful. You need to tell her to change her ID because later when Cerberus invades, they'll kill her. And I'm not having any member of my crew harmed by Cerberus. Let's check on those medical supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Your 
looking at CI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. <laughs> you have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? <laughs> don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? <laughs> there we go. Alright. Nothing else <coughs> do here for now, I think. Unless James is here? No, he's not. Alright. Now that we've got our fish back from Kelly, we should probably go to the Presidiums and buy an auto fish feeder. <sighs> so my fish don't die. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh. And Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired. I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can... You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter? Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as Med Tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot with a rifle. <laughs> All right, let's do some shopping. I'm going to wait until I find the right shop. Quarium VI. Fish, today's great. It takes an extra 20. Yes, there we go. Right, now I can buy that other fish I saw there. Well, Avon, hello. Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. All right, can't talk to him properly yet. That's fine. Gear will lose millions. 
Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to be... I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling it for cost plus three percent. Fine. Unbelievable. Oh, I mean, not really, but still. Oh, hey, Liara. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. There we go. Now we can talk to Barlavon. Excuse me, Salarian dude. Do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Yeah. You say anything? No, not at the minute. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? They'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. <laughs> The important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity, but you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Oh, hey, D. Hey, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news! The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. 
These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. All right. Oh, sits down model. Yeah, let's grab that. All licensed huntresses may have a professional discount. I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model or credit. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warrants book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could keep... Look, he's not gonna leave. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. Yeah, you're right. Let's get this over with. Here, I sent you a full refund. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes, congratulations. The whole 15 credits. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I've never chosen that option. I usually always support the store clerk. I've never done that one before. Alright. I think we're pretty much done with this area for now. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. Alright. Couple of extra side missions to do. Yikes. Right, let's go put to some other people. Oh yeah, Balavon, he's up here, let's go talk to him. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. 
the Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. But yeah, that's another time sensitive one. Okay, uh, let's go to the purgatory. No, not that yet then. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Well, all right. Not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 You are welcome. Hey, James. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Well, you don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres, hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's the us. Uh, Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> Dick. When we get back to Earth, I'm by. Damn right you are. Anyone else around here? 
Doesn't look like it. All right, let's go have a word with uh, Arya. So you admit you and your thugs are here alone. <coughs> yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional marks is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. All right. Now we've got some missions to do. I need to try and remember where all these guys are. Uh, right. Bailey, Udina. Oh yeah, John Dunbar, I need to talk to him. Miranda's on D24. The docks. Uh, Narl is on the Presidium. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a one moment. Let's go see Miranda first. Let's get that out of the way. Now arriving at Docking Bay D24. Oh, there you are. Hey, Miranda. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. 
countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard? There's... something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but... I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard. But you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. Why do you think your father was involved in Oriana's disappearance? I kept careful tabs on my sister. I always knew where she was. For her to just vanish, it could only be him. After I hid her away, I still knew he'd stop at nothing to find her. She's all he has left. I have a hunch what happened. But I'll fill you in when I'm certain. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. If you're looking for a lead here, anyone associated with Cerberus will be hard to find. No question. But I'm owed a few favors. Someone here will give me a tip on Ariana. All right. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. All right. Let's head to the not the Presidium. Uh, Citadel Embassies next. See what John Dumbau has. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... Then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. According to the Council, these galaxy Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. My apologies. Thank you for looking. All right.
Alright, so where's... MC offices. Oh, he's outside the Spectre offices. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Ah, Kasumi. Good to see you again. Alright, what have we got here? Back to terminal. Threat to level access codes can bypass privacy settings and track financial data. Enable. Citadel entry authorization. Instructors at Grisham Academy have requested facilities at the Citadel to train young students who escaped the attack on the school but are not yet ready to join the other students in combat. Citadel authorities will find room for students. Yep, let's approve that. Engineers Gabriella, Gabriella Daniels and Ken. Donnelly are in custody on the Citadel for working with Cerberus. Daniels and Donnelly surrendered peacefully before the Normandy was turned over to the Alliance, but have maintained that they were motivated purely to help fight the Collectors and Reapers, and had no other connection to the terrorist organisation. Spectre authorization could offer Daniels and Donnelly full pardons and reinstate them aboard the Normandy. Yes, we will allow that. So you approve of Bao? Absolutely. He's a good Spectre. The galaxy needs more like him. And the fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Alright, nothing in there that I can afford. Cool. We're not going to talk to Bailey just yet because we're now on a mission. Go. Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Not sure about Alun. I'll pull his bio. I'll check Alun's personal records and pull his recent messages. You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. What? If I join up? Last time I did that, you wrote me into a suicide mission. I didn't say you had to join up. You were 
working your way around to it. Right, where's the next one? Uh, dock holding area, right? Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now arriving at docking bay E. Spal, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Not a very healthy way of looking at it, Kasumi. Right, there's another terminal in here. Uh, no, not going to talk to you yet. Here we go, terminal. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bob. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Bow, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival, Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some reaper. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. All right. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select an one moment, please. Let's go and deal with this indoctrinated Hannah. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Zamandis? Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big, stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it! Wait, a virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the. Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down!
She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. Yeah, war assets. You can come out now. How'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're going to check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. You're a confusing one, Kasumi. There, we've got the Spectre unit, we've got Kasumi again. And we've got the Hanna and Drill forces on our side as well. Awesome. All in all, a successful mission. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.